just left a networking group I'm in Austin, Texas. Um, very interesting thing happened today. I heard a presentation by someone and their whole bit, they're a realtor. This person's a realtor. Her name is Kim. So Kim is talking about her uh, listing uh, techniques, the things she does while she's listing. Um, and in that process, she is talking about uh, different things she does that set her apart from other realtors. And just first of all, right off the bat, I've done realtor. Uh, I've been a realtor. I've I've done title closings. I've worked with a lot of realtors and known a lot of realtors in my time. And what was interesting is <clears throat> immediately I could tell that she was much different than the typical realtor. And so as she went through her presentation, she was laying all these things out and it was all very clear, very good information. So immediately on that personal branding note, uh, that's not really personal branding at that point, although I was impressed with her. What was interesting is what happened after the meeting. So after she finished her presentation, she sits down. Several people stood up and said, yeah, I really like her because of ABC. They have very specific, granular examples of what she had done to impress them over the years. And these are people who had walked in a relationship for a long time. So it was a very interesting execution of personal branding, even though I don't think that was the intent. So there's a, not to get preachy or anything, but there's an interesting verse in the Bible that actually says a good name is, is to be chosen over great riches. And growing up in the church, I've heard that all my life, but it was a very interesting thing to see it walked out in real time today where this person, when they left, this is what was, what really got interesting is after the, after the meeting, she left and just in random conversations I'm having with other people, I didn't bring her up, but they would say, you know, it's good that she presented today because she did ABC for me. She helped us get our first home. You know, I'm a, a title agent and, and her closings come in. I can always tell when it's hers because they're so well prepared and she does such a good, good job for the client that we know things are going to go well. And it was just a really interesting exercise today in personal branding. Personal branding has to come out of your personal uh ethos, if you will, who you are, what you believe, what you execute on a regular basis. If you don't, if you're not doing that, then you're not personal branding. People pursue personal branding sometimes from a standpoint of, I'm going to do this thing so I can brand myself. Well, even that itself being short-sighted and self-serving is personal branding in a negative way. What this person's done is they're giving so much back to the community, both through what their community involvement, but also... Um, in the way they do their work. It's a personal branding exercise just in the way they're walking out the daily things that they do. So I have a personal branding uh, exercise called, I call it the core conversation audit. And it's all about this because it's all about what do you care about? What do you love? What do you love to see happen every day? And how do you walk that out? Right? So how do you get that into conversations? And how do you combine that with your business? Because I think too many times people are networking. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this was a networking meeting. People are networking, seeing what they can extract from the networking meeting. And I call that predatory networking because I'm, I'm at, the, at the meeting, I'm at the group, seeing what I can get out of it. I've got to make sure I get my two cents in because I've got to get my extraction from this meeting, right? I've got to get my pound of flesh, if you will, and that is a very short-sighted, very one-way view of viewing, viewing networking, where if we really sat back and thought about it, the people that we do business with, with on a repeated basis, uh, the people that we have relationship with over long periods of time, are not people that gave their one-minute spiel, their 60-second elevator speech, the right way. You might have liked it, but that's not the reason you do business with them on an ongoing basis. If you're going to grow your business, you have to grow your network. And if you're going to grow your network, you have to build into your community. You cannot do that being self-serving. It's just a very simple, simple math. Once you're self-serving, you're taking and not giving. 
So I think it's a, it, it was a very powerful example today of personal branding and marketing and how marketing really is like the breath of your business. It's your business as you inhale and exhale. Uh, you may have heard before, but I think a great analogy is onions. The reason you're, you smell like onions is because you've ingested onions and your body is literally... Uh, it's exhaling onions. You know, it is taken in and systematized onions into your body, and now it's putting out onions. It's putting out what you've put in. And you can't help but exude the the core of who you are. If you're out for yourself, if you're out for you first, and you're gonna get yours before the other people get theirs, that that's gonna come out and people are going to see that. Where on the other hand, if you establish a foothold of saying, hey, this is this is where I'm going to plant my flag. I, I love to give back. I love to live here, give here. I love to be in these kind of relationships. I love it when a need is met, whether my company, my business is involved or not. I love it when somebody finds a need that they have uh, been looking to solve for a long time. And I love it when somebody finds that. Personally, that, that's kind of where I root around is, is I love being part of that process. So if it's just me making an introduction, I made a great introduction for someone a couple of weeks ago, and they've connected and, and gone running. I didn't make anything out of that deal. Um, they're probably not ever going to make anything out of that deal. But I get the reward of having connected those two people. And there's gratitude there, but I'm not doing it for the gratitude. I'm doing it because, like building a wall, you do that with one brick at a time. And the quality of the wall is in the quality of the bricks. There was a really big uh, issue in uh, North Texas about, I don't know, 30 years ago. They were using a particular type of brick that had not passed certain building code and inspections. And builders were using it because it was cheaper. Well, the problem was it was so soft that these little animals like lizards and things like that could burrow into it and make their houses. And so you would, you could go down these bricks and find these these little like little caves, and the people had to have their house completely rebricked because this brick wouldn't even hold up. Within a few years, it was crumbling. So it was cheaper, it was faster, it was easier, quote unquote. But then, how can you, uh, how can you truly say something was easy if you have to rebrick your entire home? And it, that's all about short-term thinking. And personal branding, if it's done in a short-term way, cheaply, fast, trying to get the, trying to slap a good message on, really what's bad personal branding, then you know that's all going to fall apart. Personal branding is a long-term play. It's a long game. It's not the short. It's not what can I do in the next six months to make more money. It's all about I'm planting myself in this community. I'm going to dig in. I'm gonna give back every chance I get. And that was illustrated, you know, in spades today with her presentation because she wasn't about look at me, give me. She was about this is what I do, this is who I am. And she also, I mean, another big part of what she said was she was talking through some of the things she did through our church and working through uh, some church camps to give it back into the, the children's ministry there. So that's a big deal, you know, you're building a relationship in your community. But my, my overall point is not that somebody threw out some charity work that they did. It's where she came from and what her reputation was. Um, I think it was Jack Welch who said, your brand is what they say about you when you're not in the room. And that was on it in evidence today, like I said, in spades, because she walked out of the room and I was a part of four different conversations where people were talking about how great she was. And it wasn't because I said, hey, I'm a realtor. I mean, or I need a house sold. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy or I sell a house. I, did, I had nothing to do. Actually, nobody brought up anything about business. Just her name came up, was brought up in the respect of this is what makes this group great, is people like this realtor. So if you're thinking about personal branding, if you are... Um, 
what you should be. You should be connecting your personal branding to the core message of your marketing and the sales process. Because all that works hand in hand. You can't have it separate. But if you are thinking about that, think about where you want to be in 10 years. And like in the spokes of a wheel. Your family, uh, your friends, your uh, networking relationships, um, your alliance partners. Alliance partners is a big deal. People, people overlook alliance partners a lot because you don't get immediate benefit always. But an alliance partner is someone who uh, can refer you business, but they work with the same client. So you, you're talking to the same people. A great example, I've got a buddy of mine, he and I have handed work back and forth for years now. And when we do that, we don't always get an immediate benefit from it. It's not uh, something where he gives me a, a deal and I give him a deal right back. He might give me two deals, and I might not give him a deal for six months, but then I might give him four. But neither one of us are looking at it like, oh, man, you know, you haven't kept up with your level of giving. You haven't given me as much as I've given you in the last three months. So the reason for that is we're both of the same mind. We like to give back. We like to work with people who like to work with us. I like to be in situations where I'm meeting a client need. That's the same way he is. And uh, I'm not going to take a deal that's not a fit because I know that long term the that's not going to serve either one of us. So I turn down deals all the time. Um, I love to be part of a community. I love to be part of a team that's giving back and building client relationships and community relationships that are long lasting. So these are all part of my personal core conversation on it. Then you get. That's, that's like the center of the hub, the overarching part of it. Then you get out to, for instance, I'm in content marketing. Uh, I believe in building content that serves a need. And this is a really important line. Whether or not the customer does business with me. So if the customer does not do business with me, can they still use this piece of content in their life, in their work, or whatever it is that I'm serving for them? So let's take Realty, for instance. If, if someone is a real estate agent and they come to me to build content for them, then I'm going to build content that is gonna help uh, a, an end user, a buyer or a seller of a home, whether or not they use this Realtor. So it's not like, here's how you can use my services. It's more along the lines of, these are five things you have to know to sell your house and not lose money. Or five tips on that, if you don't, five ways not to lose $20,000 at the closing table. Or things like this. These are tips and good organic information that is valuable to the end user without engaging with me. They don't have to buy from me to get this value. So, that's the execution level, the tactical level of personal branding. The, the strategic is, this is who I am, this is what I'm about, these are the kind of relationships I like, and that's what Kim was uh, doing a lot of today. But then there was also the tactical, this is how my services help people, and these are things you should know if you're going to sell a house. So... In personal branding, just like everything else in life, there's always the strategic and the tactical. And I know from personal experience that people confuse those all the time. Uh, an easy way to think about strategic and tactical is strategic, if you think of a general with all of his lieutenants on top of a hill, they've got a map laid out in front of them, and he says, we're going to go over here and take this hill. That's strategic. The strategic objective is to take that hill. So the tactical elements used to take that hill are all post strategy and now you're into tactics so personal branding in the early stage is all strategic it's all about where do you want to be in 10 years and how are you going to get there and another great way to look at it is who else are you going to take with you that's a really great question that will center you in personal branding what kind of team do you want to build around you that is going to take you and this team to X position in 10 years. So if you do like to build relationships, that's a great position to start from. How are you going to grab five team members of yours 
and take them with you to this other hill that you're going to go take in five or ten years. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, I will answer them as best I can. I've got a lot of experience in personal branding. I have a lot of experience in networking. Um, I'm a content ninja. So I have a lot of experience in the area of content. I can help your content perform for you much better than you've ever been able to get it to. I know dozens and dozens and dozens of tips and tricks. I'm available for either consulting or uh, I can consult you and tell you a, a good a good metaphor for this is you have a helper at the bottom of a mountain. There's I'll give you a map, help you get up the mountain. I'll walk with you up the mountain and carry some of the stuff or I'll carry all the stuff and I'll go up the mountain for you. So those are three different levels of engagement and obviously three different levels of price. If you just need to get your feet wet and figure out what this thing's all about, I definitely recommend the lower engagements of consulting. A couple hundred bucks will get you a ton of, of great tips and even some content because what the way I work is I'm getting into your content with you. So just my strategy call is already going to deliver content for you because I'm going to go over stuff you've already got and give you ideas on how to expand it. A great example of this is I was on the phone calls doing a strategy call with a guy last week. I spoke at a conference a couple weeks ago, and he was one of the leads from that. He and I were talking. As we're talking, I said, oh, here's a great, uh, here's a great tagline for you. And I just threw out a tagline. It was very, very good. Not, not being too self-congratulatory, but it was very good. Um, and, you know, he's put that on his business, business cards now. And that's an example of what I'm talking about. Any conversation that I'm ever in... I want to give as much as I possibly can, and most of the time that's giving away free stuff. Uh, I just can't help it. There's, I've tried not to, but there's way more effort in, in not doing it than there is in, uh, in just giving it away. Give as much as possible in every conversation you can. That's going to be a powerful position for you in personal branding. Uh, and I'm home now, so I'm signing off.